Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Stockholm, where I'm delighted to be joined by Erki Parna, head of data platform at Easy Park. Erki, such a pleasure to sit down with you here today. Thank you, Ryan. Pleasure to be here as well. At Easy Park, you innovate parking for everyone, drivers, businesses, parking operators, and cities, all with a vision to make cities more livable. How does your data foundation allow the team to adapt to the changing demands of your customers? That's a really good question. I would like to start from the vision that we have. Uh, to explain that a little bit. So what we are trying to do, uh, how we make the cities more livable, is through the kind of balancing and managing that high demand that people have in their urban locations to certain areas where they want to park closest to the destination. And we are managing it via our digitalized services. So, and our data foundations right now have put into the kind of place where we need to cope with the extensive change that we are going through, through the acquisition and extensive growth. And this is where we manage those problems that we have encountered now in terms of our data foundations. And also the governance is a big part because we have moved from 400 people to 1500 people very quickly. And how to govern our data well, according to all the rules and compliance needs and how to kind of uh, govern all those users as well, so. Great perspective, Erki. Let's take a step back and examine the broader business. Easy Park Group has a unique market coverage with a presence in over 20 countries in more than 4,000 cities. What trends are emerging from both your cities and parking operators, and how do these insights impact the company's overall strategy? Yeah, thank you for this question. We have learned that now becoming the multi-region company that different regions have different needs and what we're trying to do is to identify those sort of common nominators or patterns in order to better identify the needs of those cities and operators that we have and recommend them the best practices that would work in their circumstances. So in, in general, the cities are kind of still moving towards urbanization and there is more demand on the parking places because lots of those cities are built around the centers, city centers where the space is scarce. And we are trying to kind of help cities to manage this need a little bit better via our solutions. But for example, in the US, we have really the cities that already designed around the car based or optimized car-based approach where there are lots of parking available. But in Europe, for example, it's, it's completely different. Cities have been established longer and the space is very scarce and we have common practices now that the cars have been pushed out from the cities in general or from the city centers. And these are the kind of trends we see that are happening. And our goal is to support the cities to have proper policies in place that would help to govern their, their cities better. Mm -hmm. Great to hear. Thank you so much for that, Erki. You help cities balance parking supply and driver demands by using predictive technology and data visualization. How does the AI data cloud serve as the backbone for everything the team does? Yeah, it serves us as a, as a source of truth, basically single source of truth. For example, yeah, Snowflake's new features that are coming out are reducing our cognitive load. We have very small team size in terms of that looks after the data platform, for example, and launching like ML products, it has made it very easy because of the kind of whole ecosystem that we have now in our hands. And also, I think the kind of advantage now that we are getting from the Streamlit app, for example, that internally has been becoming very popular in our company. And at the moment, the data cloud is something that really helps us to tackle this multi-region problem also. Great to hear the impact Snowflake is having uh, across the board for you. The topic that is still on everyone's mind is, is very much AI. From your seat, how do you and the team think about implementing this technology at Easy Park specifically? Yeah, the AI is kind of topic right now that's been discussed from the board level down to the kind of sales agent level, so everyone thinks that yeah, AI is something we should have, but there is no concrete use case yet that we need to solve, and AI would help us to solve. Obviously, I've seen great impacts in product and technology unit where developers have speed up their performance using Copilot, but 
still we are, we, we are having discussions and there are task force teams who are searching for those opportunities in, in the functions like finance and uh, customer care, how to utilize the AI based solutions at Easy Park as well. So I think we will be getting there sooner or later, but right now our most important part will be to focus on getting the kind of data quality in place for that and the semantic layer for our data in place for that. Thank you for those insights. But before we wrap here, Erki, as you look out on the months ahead, what's your primary focus and how can the audience stay informed on all things Easy Park? Uh, next year, we will be closing a quite big acquisition. So for us, it will be lots of integrating to the new systems again. But probably our primary focus also will be to leverage more on the products related to the AI. So um, we're definitely going to look into the LLM-based document search and drag models, uh, so uh, how we can implement those for our business. There is also like initiative to basically from the functions, from, from the non-technical people also to look into sort of uh, Cortex analytics chatbot and, and the products like this. How you can be informed uh, with our actions is probably the best way. The news are coming through our website, but we are very active at LinkedIn as well. So uh, about the new job openings or, or, or what we're doing, everything can be found find from there. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me here at DataCloud Now here in Stockholm. Such a pleasure. Thank you, Ryan. So it has been a pleasure. <laughs> and for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with DataCloud Now. Thank you so much for joining us here in Stockholm. We'll see you soon.